everyone and welcome to Microsoft Access 2016 Basics. My name is Steve Bishop and in this video we're going to be talking about using the in operator with a SQL query. So a where in statement allows us to filter the data according to multiple pieces of information or multiple criteria of one field. So for example, if we did where first name in Steve or Joe. So we're gonna specify right after the where statement, the field that we want to filter on. And then we have the in operator followed by in parentheses here, the names Steve and Joe. Notice that the values inside of the parentheses are separated by a comma. The only reason why you need the quotation marks around Steve and Joe is because the first name field is filled with text. If this was a number, say an age, then we would not need the quotation marks around the values. So this where first name in Steve or Joe would give us the results of IDs 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So those would be the records that would be returned from this where statement. Let's take a look at this in an example in our Access database. We've seen in an earlier video that you can filter your results based upon more than one piece of information or more than one criteria. So we saw in query six when we were building it that we could say two or one and the active had to be yes. And if we open the SQL view, we see the or statement and the and statement here, these two operators as we call them, logical operators. Now the person type is being filtered by either a value of two or a value of one, but it is happening on the same field. And this actually is a bit more verbose than it needs to be. We can replace this with an in statement. So I'm gonna change this by getting rid of the parentheses. And I'm gonna remove everything that we have of this or statement. I'm gonna go back to just having the person type field selected here. Now I can add right after this person type, I can add the in operator and then add inside of parentheses what those values could be. And we said they could be one or two. So if person type is either one or two and the people active field is yes, then go ahead and return the results. And if we click run, we'll see that we do in fact get those results. These are the same results we saw before when we were using the OR operator. Now one of the unique things that you can do with the IN operator is that instead of having specific information here like one and two, you can actually insert another query. So we can do a select statement here. Now we need the results from this query to return the values from only one field. So if we were going to select from some particular table, and we know that the person types comes from this person types table. So let's say that we want to get all of the people types that are not a vendor, right? And that'll get us ID one and two. So we could go into our query and we could say from the table that we want is people types. And we can add a where statement here inside of this. We can say where, and I believe the field was, yes, type name. So we're gonna say type name. And now we need to say that it is not equal to, or actually we could say not like, and then we could add in just that letter here. So we're gonna say uh, V for vendor, right? So we're gonna say not like, and then quotation marks here. We could say V, and then asterisk, right? Because that was the wild card that we learned before when we were using the like operator. Now, I've also just introduced you to the idea of a not operator, which basically says, hey, it can't be like this, right? It's the opposite of like. Now going back to the select statement itself, I need to only select one field. And the field that I wanna select is this ID field. So I'm gonna say select ID from people types where type name not like V. And that will go and get me all of the people types that do not have a type name that starts with V, which would give us IDs one and two. And those will be the results that we see inside of these parentheses. That'll give us one and two, and that means our pe person type here in, and then one and two, just like we had when we manually entered it into the system. 
So let's go ahead and try running this, and we'll see the same results. This ability to add a, another query inside of this query, often referred to as a subquery, is one of the really cool things that you can start to learn how to do. Uh, typically, you don't want to use the in statement in order to make this happen. You want to start aliasing queries and adding them to your from statements, which is something we're going to talk about in a future episode. But this is just to give you an idea that you can, in fact, write another query and add it inside of this query to kind of filter out your results according to the data from some other table. I'd like to thank these individuals for your continued support in being a member of this channel. Without your assistance, this channel would not be possible. Thank you.